It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam Lissette Show. Now here's your host, Sam Lissette. So folks, could you believe it? It's gonna be the 22nd annual Great Pottsville Cruise, uh, August the 8th. I cannot believe time went by so fast. Uh, so we have a pre-cruise show for you, let you know what's gonna happen on August the 8th. And once again, I don't know how they're gonna make it better, but they are. Uh, we have here the, the main people of, of the uh, cruise, uh, Ed Hurst, of course, he's gonna be the host again this year, does a great job. And we have 12 Volt Dave here. Uh, let me talk with you, start with you, Ed. Now, I don't know how you're gonna make this better than you did last year, but tell me what's, what's going on uh, this year. Okay, Sam, this year we have a great uh, cruise lined up. We have coming from the A&E reality TV show, Shipping Wars, we have Jessica Sampko. She lives in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and she's coming with her uh, big red Volvo truck, and she'll be signing autographs. We have, uh, Dave will, will talk about a little bit later, we have a, a car we're gonna give away to a veteran. We have a lot of new ven uh, vendors coming downtown. Uh, we got a lot of new sponsors. Uh, David Yingling, who you're gonna interview here a little bit, they're gonna come with their ice cream truck. We have two live bands this year uh, playing downtown. Charlie Kirshner will reiterate on that a little bit, but we're uh, hoping for good weather. We're looking to get a 800 to 1,000 cars to come, and we just kicked it off with our bag stuffing last night. Well, it, I, again, it's, it's, it's amazing yet how you guys do it every year. And what's this? This is this the... Is our, uh, our, this is our poster with uh, all the events on. We have the raffle run. We have our downtown car show. Uh, the giveaway car for the veterans, Jessica Sampko. So this is our poster. And then we have 10,000 of these handouts that we pass out at car shows and we give the businesses and stuff to get the word out for us. Right. Uh, my uh, short friend here, now folks, I want you to understand I'm cheating today. Uh, you can see I, I, how I'm cheating here because I'm standing to two, next to two giants. Okay, Shorty, before I have to beat you up, um, first of all, how you doing, Dave? Good, Sam. Good. Always good to see you. That's always a pleasure. You know, I got to tell you, I always say thank you because you were one of the first uh, people that believed in, in uh, SSP TV and, and uh, local programming. And you always supported us, and that goes without saying. The Sand family appreciates that very much. Uh, even the fact that you're so big, I mean, you know. Uh, so let's talk about the cruise again. Sure. You always, guys, what's, what are some other things that are happening? Well, you know, as, as Ed mentioned, you know, one, one of the things we're really excited about this year, and we, since Ed and I took over, we've tried to have a, had a theme every year. And uh, this year, uh, last year was the cars were the stars, and they always are. And this year, you know, we went with show your pride. And the reason we did that, you know, there, there's not too many things you'll see um, more pride in when a guy's talking about his car at a car show. You know, they stand a little taller and they're more than happy to tell you about their wonderful ride. So we said, you know, these guys all have so much pride. And for years, I, I've kind of had a dream myself that, that uh, I'd like to give away a car to a Schuylkill County veteran. And I thought, you know, with, with doing the pride thing this year, I mean, what else makes you more proud and stands up, you know, the national anthem, yep. seeing one of our veterans or soldiers in uniform, yep. we all show a little more pride then. Yep. So I finally thought, I'm going to take this dream of mine and, and start to actually reach out to some people. Mm -hmm. And I went to him and said, listen, I'd like to give a car to a deserving Schuylkill County veteran that's in need of a vehicle. And the first one I went to was the good people down at Schuylkill Haven Body and Fender. And I told him what I had intended to do, and he said, count me in right away. And I was a little surprised, but was still honored that he was willing to do it. So I thought, well, that works so well. I'm going to stop and see my good friend at Bob Weaver's. So I talked to Bob and said, Bob, I want to give a car away to a county veteran. Explained what we were thinking about. He said, count me in. I thought, wow, I'm two for two. I got a car, you know. I got a paint job for it. I went to my good friends at Ken's Tire, told them my same dream story. They said, count us in for wheels and tires. Wow. So we got brand new wheels and tires on the vehicle. Of course, I reached out then to all my suppliers and said, hey, I want this veteran to have the best stereo, the latest in vehicle technology, yeah. send me the stuff. Mm -hmm. And they did, and me and my guys have been tricking out this. We got a very nice Jeep Grand Cherokee, relatively low mileage, beautiful interior, so it's going to have one killer sound system, great technology. And then I also went to, as I was talking to one of our other new 
new uh, supporters, CJ Tires, they said, we'll take care of two years of regularly scheduled maintenance on it. Wow. So I was like, wow, this is absolutely this great. Is great yeah. Tell them, relating the story to one other business person who wants to remain name anonymous, but to tell you the magnitude that this has really come to, he said, who's taking care of titles, taxes, and tags? I said, well, you know, we gave cars away for years. It was kind of on whoever got the vehicle. Mm -hmm. He said, not for a veteran, it's not. So wow. we got that covered. So whoever we select, and we have a separate committee looking at all the applications, is going to walk away that day with a vehicle, and all they're going to need to come with is insurance and a driver's license. Wow, that's fabulous. So we're really excited that all this pride is going to culminate the end of the night on Center Street in downtown Pottsville. That's the great thing about this uh, this area, you know, Bob Weaver coming with the car, which is great, and, and all the other people, Ken's tires, you know, I don't want to miss anybody, but like you said, a lot of great people that have been doing a, a lot of great things. So um, um, now will this car be on display during the, um, uh, the event? Oh yeah, it'll be on display uh, all during the event. We're hoping to have it, uh, in, the other, in the other party that's stepping up too is Gear Graphics. They are going to do this thing up. We're, we don't want it to be over the top because we want them to be able to drive it and not feel that they're a show coming down the road. Yeah. So Gear Graphics is going to do this vehicle up with a nice little touch of camouflage and oh, some good. seals of all the you know U.S. service oh, great. agencies. Great. And uh, so we're hoping to have it out on the road in the next week or two to show it off some places. Uh, like I said, I'm real excited about this. Never thought it would all come together. And what a great add-on to the Pottsville Cruise. I keep on saying, I don't know how you guys make it better, but every year it becomes better and better. Folks, it's going to be the 22nd annual Pottsville Cruise. There are a lot of people here today that were contributed and helping with the cruise. And remember, the benefits are fantastic. Now we're going to talk to Jerry Enders, and Jerry, as remember, used to oh, be really? the... Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I know. I'm oh, sorry. Man. I have to, I have to, I have to bring the show down somewhere, okay? Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam Sancho, a special edition, folks, of the Sam Sancho. It's for the, uh, it's a pre-cruise show. It's the 22nd annual Great Pottsville Cruise. A couple things, uh, a little homework here. Just so you know, if you're watching us on Channel 15, which is the uh, city station, uh, we are on, as you know, uh, 190 on Comcast 190, Monday through Friday from 7 to 11 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, with all of the local programming, Body Beautiful, the Sam Lasant shows, uh, various um, shows that we show that are all of local nature. So once again, just so you know, we're on 190. And remember, ssptv.com, 24-7, you can watch all of our shows. Now we're back here uh, with uh, two uh, interesting people. Uh, the one person you uh, certainly know, uh, Jerry, how you doing? I'm doing great, Sam, and yourself? I'm doing fantastic. You look dapper as always, yes, Sam. Yes, I do. Yeah, you, I you, just, you, you just, dresses me You good. light up the, the TV waves, I'll tell you that, Sam. Uh, so listen, uh, I know that yeah. you know you've been you know you're the guy that you know really uh, for years put this thing yeah, together. Yeah, did a lot of work. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, Sam. So uh, what's your what's your well now? well my part of it now is uh, you know I'm still in Lions Club and uh, you got Dave and Eddie they're running the cruise, but we are maintaining one of the major parts of the cruise. The kickoff of the cruise this year will be at Jerry's Classic Cars and Collectibles Museum at 394 South Center Street. We're going to kick off the event that day at 9 o'clock. We're going to have loads of fun down there. You, you've been there, Sam. We get hundreds of cars in down there. You can come there. We're going to have a mini car show all day. We're going to be at the museum at 394 South Center Street, right behind Dunkin' Donuts. And we're going to open at 9 o'clock. But we got a little something special this year. We did it last year, Sam. It was a huge success. We're going to charge our general admission, but you're going to get a ticket for your refreshments. That's hot dog, hamburger, soda, and $2 of every emission, as we did last year, is going to be donated to the Vietnam vets. And last year we donated around $200 plus to the Vietnam vets for the memorial down in Schuylkill Haven. So we're going to do that. So when you come to the museum to do your tour, enjoy the day, you can go in, go out, tour. There's over 20,000 items of interest. There's cars inside. There's a, a barber shop, a millinery, soda fountain there's a drive-in theater in there a snack bar you've been in there sam oh, it's, fabulous. it's just a fabulous yes. place to see you can spend all day we're going to have the parking lot across the street from the museum available for a car show we're going to have a dj there spin jammers playing some tunes we're going to have live radio magic 105 they're there every year mm -hmm. so you have an event you want to talk about you can be on the radio so everything kicks off 
on cruise day, August 8th, at Jerry's Classic Car Museum, 9 a.m. in the morning, and we're going to be there till 4. You can get your registration packs there early. It's a raffle stop. You can get your official cruise t-shirt there, your 50-50s for the Lions Club, your raffle tickets for the Lions Club. Everything we're doing there is going to be Lions Club related. So if you want to buy your tickets early and sign them and you're not going to be downtown at night, we will put them in the barrel. We'll call your cell phone if you win. And you know, Sam, uh, the last two or three years that I was chair, we used to call at least a half dozen, dozen people. So we sold a lot more tickets. We'd call them up. They stop at the lot, pick up their prize. So it's really a great way to do it. So, And you don't need a car, Sam, to come there. You want to come and just hang out, enjoy the atmosphere, look at the cars that come in. But uh, everything Cruise Day kicks off at Jerry's Classic Car Museum in Pottsville. Uh, you're pretty active as usual. The place, folks, is fantastic, okay? It really is. Uh, I've been in there a couple times, and if you haven't been in his museum, it's fabulous. Now, here's another person. I uh, just had the pleasure of meeting today, but he's certainly no stranger to the area. Uh, uh, Dave Yingling. Dave, I'm going to step on my cheater here, okay? Okay. Uh, because I was born short, okay? So, Dave, um, first of all, congratulations. <clears throat> on an ice cream that's absolutely fabulous, and I'm not just saying that. It's just like the beer. You know, you can't beat Yingli beer, you can't beat Yingling's ice cream. Tell me a little bit about your, your ice cream and what's happening with the cruise this year. Well, we, uh, we started back in business last year, sometime in January 2014, and this is our first year with the Pottsville Cruise. Um, so we're bringing up our ice cream truck. Um, we also have a 15-foot tall ice cream court, that, inflatable court, that we'll probably have hanging around. And we'll be dipping ice cream, uh, giving out scoops of ice cream samples to uh, whoever comes by our truck. You know, uh, the ice cream, uh, which I have, okay, uh, it's just great. I mean, and you, uh, you know, you've been making that here for the last year, you said, right? Uh, last two years, this is our second year in business. Uh, we currently have 16 flavors, and uh, it's a super premium ice cream. Oh, it's great. And um, where could they get? Uh, where could people buy your ice cream? Uh, in this area, just about everywhere. Yeah. Um, all independent stores, uh, all, all the major grocery stores carry it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I know wh what separates your. I mean, your ice cream tastes very well. I'm mean, very good. It's not well. Very good. Uh, what is it? Special ingredients, or what do you? Do? Well, our ice cream is all natural, so we use all natural ingredients. Um, when you look at ice cream, there's basically two ingredients you look at. Butter fat, which kind of provides the creaminess, yeah. and then the amount of air you put into it. Yeah. We have a very high butter fat product. Um, it's 14% butter fat, and it has very little air in it. So it's a lot thicker, a lot creamier, oh, okay. and that's what... That's, yeah, that's the flavor. That, that's the, that's that's the, the trick. Yeah. So uh, we get to get taste your ice cream, but prior to that, folks, believe me, buy the ice cream. It's fantastic. You know, I, I got to hold off. I eat too much of it. Uh, <laughs> But uh, it's nice to have you involved. As usual, the Yingling has always been there for the community. Uh, even you know, Dick and he's, he's, the family's always been there. And I congratulate. Yeah, you. I mean, we originated in Pottsville back in 1920. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. the brewery couldn't make beer for prohibition. They started up the ice cream business. We took a 30-year break there in between, but we're back. but we're back again. Better than ever. Just okay. a, yep. We'll see you at the cruise, okay, folks. Thank remember, you. it's a 20. Uh, 22nd annual Pottsville Cruise. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, Nikki, how about, come on, we got there's other people who participate. Nikki and uh, uh, we, uh, Pioneer Pose folks. Uh, uh, I'm gonna come down now to you, okay? Uh, you talk, come on in, okay. Um, we're talking about uh, the, um, the cruise and, and participation. And this year, as usual, you know, uh, Pioneer Poles uh, buildings has been a part of it, you know? You, you wanna sure. tell me about? Sure. Yeah, we've uh, we've been in business now for going on 16 years. Um, we service seven states. Um, we also have Alpine Building Supply, our retail store right next door at Pioneer, where we sell hardware. We sell the steel, um, other building components, and lumber. Um, also, we sell wood pellets. Uh, we have a propane fill station, and we sell bagged coal. So we have a pretty pretty nice thing going on there too. Uh, yeah, Pioneer has been going pretty well. We've been real busy, and uh, you know we've. Uh, We've been building uh, a lot of buildings this summer, so. Uh, Your participation with the cruise has always been welcomed, etc. Absolutely. One side note: I was in the Alpine building. Okay, mm, we, yeah. did, we did it all around the town there, and I'm going to tell you, it is very impressive. There are things in there that you can't imagine are in there. I, mean, you just, I know. You just touched on it a little bit, and it's it's beautifully laid out uh, for those people who you know need some supplies you got to stop and see them uh, but I mean your family has been always so gracious yep. uh, you know to the community I think that's great 
Yeah, I mean the uh, the Paso Cruz is a uh, is a great event. Uh, benefits a lot of uh, great organizations. Of, you know, of course, the Lions Club and and uh, and all the great things that that organization does. And we are very happy to be involved with it. Well, it's a pleasure. Now, Nikki, how are you? Wonderful. Okay. Now, uh, wh what's your function at uh, All Pine and, and Pioneers? I just changed over to marketing assistant, so I work hand in hand with Brian. Now. Oh, is he the guy that controls the advertising? He controls everything. I, I got to get the talk. <laughs> okay. So, uh, how you doing with them? Okay. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. He's great to work with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, it's fun to work on projects like this when yeah. we when we get to be a part of. How do you, uh, you know, you, you know, every company? Uh, I know a lot of people go above uh, Call of Duty. Okay. And your company's always been there because for as many years as I've been doing this cruise, you know, your company's been there, you know, day one. Um, how does that make you feel as an employee? Proud. Very proud. I'm very proud to work for Pioneer and Alpine. We're, we're combined. Um, yes, the, the number of sponsorships and donations that he does is amazing. And, I mean, he gets really involved. He doesn't just, you know, send a donation and off he goes. I know, he, I know. he gets involved yes, he in, in his sponsorships yeah. and takes takes heart with them. He That's great. That's great. Well, you're going to be there at the uh, cruise on uh, that day, August the 8th. Unfortunately, I can't be there that day, uh, okay. but, um, but Brian, there, but Pioneer, he, he, Pioneer and Alpine will be there. there. We're going to be a, uh, a registration spot, and we'll also be in town. Okay. Yep. Great All day. Right. Well, listen, thanks again. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's always a pleasure. Tell your daddy and your folks we said I will, I will. Uh, Pine and folks. Now, we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back and talk to some more people uh, about this pre-cruise. Folks, it's the 22nd annual Pottsville Cruise. It's Saturday, August the 8th. You can pick up these brochures anywhere. We're playing this show up until the cruise. Uh, so once again, if you're watching us on Channel 15, remember, turn to 190 uh, Monday through Friday and you'll see all of the shows from 7 to 11. Saturdays and Sundays, we're almost on all day on Channel 190, Comcast 90. We're going to take a break and I'll be right back after this. Welcome back to the San Sancho, folks. This is our pre-cruise show, uh, the 22nd annual Great Pottsville Cruise. And believe me, it's the Great Pottsville Cruise. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, you've heard some people talking about what they're doing and everyone who's involved <clears throat> there's a lot of entertainment involved <clears throat> excuse me and the person who is in charge of entertainment is my buddy charles charlie tell me what's going to happen this year well we got lots of lots of entertainment going on this year the main main event is uh, dave mel band will be performing at the arch street parking lot starting at about five o'clock they are from berks county pennsylvania both male and female vocals they do a variety of music from r b to motown classic rock blues oldies and then uh, down in front of the wooden king we have a, a local band which is called the local boys <laughs> yeah. they're, doing they're doing all the, they're doing all the standards yeah. in classic yeah. rock yeah. we also have a, a couple djs throughout town quality sounds will be playing at the national pen bar parking lot and uh, down at jerry's museum we have the spin jammers performing well, you, you really put the you put a show together. I tell you. We try, we yeah, try, Sam. You do a great job, really. It's nice to, that you you're involved and you you certainly put some uh, and a lot of entertainment for the people. We're still waiting for you to come down with your bugle, or <laughs> yeah, trump, right, trumpet, trumpet, trumpet. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah every well, year you keep well, saying I, you're going to come down and, and I, yeah, you I play know. the trumpet. I, of course, you know I play trumpet, but I haven't played in years. But uh, keep up the good work, Charlie. We try. Yeah, Thank yeah, you good, so much. Good. good. Now, folks, um, uh, City Councilman Joe Devine, uh, you've seen him on the show where we talked about the. Uh, Hey, how about that pool? Isn't that pool really doing well, huh? We're very proud of JFK, and, and uh, this is our 50th anniversary there. So we're, you know, we're going to be uh, having a, some type of a celebration here later on in the year, Sam, for uh, uh, to celebrate it. You know, so. Well, I tell you, it was a, it was an eye opener for me to see uh, everything about that pool. But anyway, mm -hmm. the cruise, uh, Joe. I yeah. know the cruise is is always so important. I remember when Mayor Riley in the last last year, uh, uh, Mayor Mayor Baldowney. Uh, we talked about the importance of this cruise and how important is it to the city? Well, let me tell you, I've been, I've been, I live right next door here. Oh, so I've been so part you of. You have to travel far. I, 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 I've seen this, the cruise from its inception, and it's remarkable what all of these guys as a team have put together through the years. I mean, uh, to where it's at right now. I mean, the city's very proud and very honored to have a, a dedicated group of people like this that give back to the city from the donations and everything that the cruise raises as well as the crowds that they bring down to downtown Ponce. But more importantly than that, as a veteran, I want to thank them personally for what they're doing this year uh, with the veteran and with that, the vehicle. That's, that's spectacular. And I know that I'm speaking for all of the veterans when they say thank you very much to Dave and, uh, 
Ed and the, and the, the cruise committee because uh, that's something special. That's something that came from their hearts and they want to give back and help the veterans. And, tr and those are the type of people we have here in Potsdam Sam that are dedicated, volunteers, and, and do whatever they can to make the city better, you know. Well, you know, Joe, I, I've said this for many years. I, I've been here for a long time when we had the uh, uh, centennial and mm -hmm. we had la lasting legacy, et right. cetera. Worked with uh, a lot of people here. And I find uh, all of the people here, you know, they, they work together. Oh. And, you know, you, sometimes you put politics aside oh. and, and everybody works together. And, and it's great for the community. And I applaud the people who do that. You uh, know? You're absolutely right. This isn't a political thing at all. This is, this is the fact that it's uh, Pottsville Cruise dedicated to the people of Pottsville and its vicinity. We get into crowds that, that come into town and it's good for everyone. I mean, and everyone enjoys I don't care what your age is, from little kids, my little grandsons love watching and look at and watching the old cars right up to uh, us older folks, uh, not not you, Sam, but no, I mean that the people you know, no, <laughs> that, that, that see the old cars that, that restored and in their vintage condition, just like uh, Jerry has this Avanti here and stuff like that. It's uh, it's remarkable. And then they have national recognition, of yeah. course, too, with who they bring in yes, with their spokespeople, yes, you know. Yeah. Well, Joe, it's always nice seeing you. Okay. Sam, you too, and I thank you. And your son, you know, like that's always a pleasure. And thanks for your coverage You're of the town. We appreciate You're it. Thank you. thank you. Okay, now, come on over here. We got other people here to partake. No stranger, of course. How are you doing, my friend? Good, Sam. Yourself? Okay. Now, what are you going to be doing this year again? Are you, I mean, I know you keep these guys in order. Working downtown, uh, handling the raffle maps and everything else. Everything else is pretty well done now for me. How many people... Uh, uh, you know, I know uh, that are, are involved, you think, you know, 20, 30, 40, I mean, are there are a lot of people involved in this particular... Uh, we have about 80 to 100 people all yeah, together. That all work that, together. all work together and back and forth, you have fun in with and out during the day. Yeah, there's a lot of fun, yeah, yeah, Sam. I know there's a lot of fun. Well, it's always nice seeing you, okay? Yeah. Be good. See you right, at the cruise. And of course, you can never forget Yingling's participation, folks, in the um, uh, the cruise. And we have Debbie here. Debbie, so what's exciting this year? Oh, a lot of things going on here at the brewery. Again, we're doing Dash Puck again with Ty Dillon's new race car. Uh, we have a new building coming across the street now, a bigger gift shop, bigger museum, more tours. So please join us when we reopen, hopefully in January of next year. So summer months are coming. People drinking their Yingling, very, very busy. So we've been... We've been running. Now, will we see Dick at the uh, the, the fair? You think August the 8th? You think he's going to make a... We hope so. Hopefully he'll make an appearance this year. I'm gonna, we're going to work on that, so we'll do our best to do that. i got to tell you, he is the hardest working guy, That one of the hardest working guys I know. Oh, absolutely. He's, I mean, he's at work at the brewery probably 4.30, 5 a.m., yes. works until afternoon, goes home and comes back in the evening hours, very hands-on, loads trucks, does a forklift, you name it. So he's a very, very hard guy to kind of tra tackle down, I guess. Well, it's He's a, he's a great person. Yes, he, really he is. is. I know him for many years. And the entire Yingling family, his daughters, everyone who works. I bet Dave today uh, from the ice cream. Right, so, right. Uh, great family, great yeah, family, yes. yeah. And so, Debbie, you doing okay? You're still doing tours, though. I'm you? still doing tours almost 11 years later. I still, I still, I'm still doing them. Yeah. Still having fun with it, so. Yeah. So yep. you just turned 30 years old. You've been exactly. doing it since you were 19 since, years old. Well, 1829, actually. Probably <laughs> since the brewery started, I've been there. So beer does keep you young. So keep on drinking your Yingling beer while you're at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, folks, like I said, it's a great time uh, at the uh, the cruise. Uh, and Yingling's always been a great participant. Not only for that, for many other things they do here yeah. in the greater uh, uh, Pottsville area. Hey, big boy, come here. Yo. Okay, we're going to wrap this up, folks. We got the uh, the two people here. Where's, oh, there's Eddie. Uh, okay. Sam and Jerry's car. Well, that's a hell a heck of a car. Uh, just in closing, uh, you got about a minute left. Give me a closing of what we are to expect, uh, you know, this year at the cruise, uh, Dave. A lot of excitement, a lot of new things. You know, Ed and I, like you said, we've tried to up it every year. This year we bought new entertainment. We've got new sponsors. We've got new excitement with a you know, TV celebrity coming in. We've got a great giveaway. We've got a great theme with the pride in your ride. It's going to be an exciting day. It never rains on my parade, so the weather will be fine. Good. And if it's not, we'll blame Jerry. That's right. You know. That's right. So uh, bring those cars out. Bring the spectators out. And have a good time. Come on to Pottsville and enjoy a great day for a great cause. Okay. And once again, Eddie, or, uh, Dave, thanks very much. Okay. Oh, thank you. Now, you're all set to do the co-hosting, right? Absolutely. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the response is overwhelming here in this area. What you're running it on Comcast and now over in St. Clair on, on Service Electric and all of their, I mean, 
We get so much feedback on that. That's Plus, good. we always put the show up on the great www.thegreatpotzelcruise.com and play it on there. But we get a big response back for that. It's like our engine that drives wow. the cruise. Good idea. And we thank you and for you, doing you, it. You know, the knowledge you have of cars just fascinates me because I watch the cruise. You guys have a great knowledge of cars. Right? Yeah. It's, it, it, and I'm sure you're going to do well with my... I'm going to surprise you this year with your co-host. Okay? I heard. So okay. right. I'm looking forward to it, Sam. Right. And thanks again to Samsung Productions for hosting pleasure. us. Thank you, Sam. My pleasure. Folks, it's the pre-cruise show, 22nd anniversary. Yeah, we got a shot. And Jerry's... No, no, Jerry, I want you to sit uh, Okay. There. He wants me to sit in this car, okay? Uh, he may give it to me, folks. I'm not sure, okay? Listen, all right, listen, I'm going, for your closing remarks. I'm going to end the show in this beautiful car. Avanti, I'm taking it home, Debbie. I'm taking this car home with me. Folks, it's it's a lot of fun. It's the 22nd annual uh, Great Pottsville Cruise. I have to keep reminding myself of the date, August the 8th. Um, if you can, please get there. Uh, for those of you who are watching this on the Internet, you know, you can always see the show 24-7. This is Jerry Ender's car, uh, you know, and he, uh, Jerry has been a... Good friend of mine for many, many years, and now he's given me a car. Folks, we'll see you next time on the Sam LaSanne Show.